In this video, I'm crushing every chip brand and flavor into one chip. For context, the first commercial chip was invented in 1853 by American chef George Crumb. Yes, as ironic as that is, his last name really was Crumb. <laughs> now fast forward to 2064 and we live in a world where all kinds of chips exist. Salty, sweet, wavy, puffed, with literally the world's hottest peppers. Which I tried later on in this video by the way. <laughs> Now at the end of the video, I'm going to have my friends taste test the final product to give a full review. Ah, where else would I start this challenge than HEB? If you've watched my previous mixing videos, you definitely would have guessed that. I'm still not banned yet. Even though I'm not banned yet, every time I come in here to do these videos, I am testing the waters. In fact, as soon as I came in, I saw them having a secret meeting about me. They were just having a meeting about banning me. As I stared down the vast sum of aisles, I realized the chip aisle was right above my head. And notice how there's nothing else on this sign but chips, which probably means there's a lot. Loki, I didn't realize there was this many chips. Guys, good news, we found a glitch in the system. We found a glitch, the problem is, I've ran out of room. New car unlocked. In the editing, I want to do like the new car unlocked sound effect. Some items I was unsure whether to count them as chips or not, but I erred on the side of getting them to make the final product that much crazier. Top shelf. New car unlocked. We are counting these as chips, okay? Three full carts later, we finally extracted every chip from this store. And even with spending this much at the first store, there were still many more to capture. Subscribe to Hang Time. Thank you so much. You did a great job. I got some chips. Oh, you helping me put them in? Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh-huh. Got some sort of party you're going to or stuff happening? Uh no, I'm actually mixing all these chips into one. Yeah. That guy probably thought I was weird and understandably so. Now the next doors will speed run so we can get home and get crushing, but I just wanted to show y'all that I'm jumping through every hoop to make sure we get every chip. Technically these are chips. What's up? I got some chips. I'm actually shocked at how many new chips were in there. Also guys, you see what you've done to me? I'm addicted. Let him cook now. Let him cook! Hold up. I said let, let him, him cook! cook. Now, if you have no idea what you just saw, watch this video next and it should help you understand. Back to this video, things were going great as I was finding new chips everywhere I went. What if this asks for a tip? Now at the last two stores, I found something that was low-key disturbing and I almost intervened on. And no, it wasn't the fact that when I'm crouched like this, it sort of looks like I'm not wearing shorts. Rather, it was when I was in the Walmart parking lot and saw a dog in the car with all the windows rolled up. If he was still in there by the time I came out, I was going to look for its owner. Bro, this is like the highest shelf in grocery history. The car with the dog is gone, I think we're all good. Thankfully, this buddy actually seemed to be in good hands, and we're finally home to start making one diabolical chip. I tried my best to do one trip. I don't know if you can relate, but I usually try to carry my groceries in in one trip. But this time, it was impossible. And y'all check this out, here are the very strange chips we ordered off Amazon that we'll also be mixing in. Ah. Before mixing, I needed to organize the chips into groups based on brands and flavors. But to have some fun with it, I made the groups into letters and will be spelling a six letter word. For even more fun, I'll reveal the letters one at a time as we mix them so that way you as a viewer can play an interactive trivia game with this video. Please take your best guesses as to what the word is before it's fully revealed. And after we finish the final letter to reveal the word, and now, science time. <coughs> Sorry about that. Science time. We have 177 unique chips that come in slightly different sizes. While this difference may seem small, we want the final product to be as evenly distributed as possible. To do this, we'll ensure each sample is equivalent to 0.07 ounces and then throw it in the blender. And once they're all in, we'll blend it up into a bunch of mixed up crumbs. Now to get it back into a chip-like formation, we will need to introduce a little bit of water to the crumb mixture in hopes that it will congeal together into a cookie dough-like consistency. And if the water's not doing the trick, I have this edible food glue. Finally, these crushed up crumb samples will be rolled out individually and placed in in this air fryer for 15 minutes on a high heat, where hopefully they turn out as the most epic chip ever created. 
starting out with the letter C. And just so y'all know, to keep things moving quickly, I'll only be taste testing the top three most unique flavors from each letter. The first of three we're trying, Tochi Salted Egg Salmon Chips. I've never had salmon chips before, and these were pretty expensive online, so they better be good. They actually don't smell that bad. Now, technically, this is a chip. I mean, honestly, guys? <coughs> These were so fishy tasting. I wanted to see real quick if it would work as bait. Dude, some fish is about to get a massive treat. Can you imagine if I catch something with this? All right, hopefully it stays on. Stayed on. Whoa, Nelly, I got something. I got something. Just kidding, nothing bit yet. I mean, the fact that it even stayed on. Yeah, I didn't catch anything, but at least I tried. Perfect, 0 0.07. The second of three will try Flock Hot Chicken Skin Chips. These were also pretty expensive online. I feel like I'd rather have this like cooked, not in a chip form. The taste really does taste like chicken skin. You know, if you had like rotisserie chicken, it's okay. I still prefer to actually eat regular chicken over the chip form though. The last one we'll try for this letter, Takis Blue Heat. I've never had Takis before, but I feel like they're similar to Hot Cheetos. And if that's the case, I will like them because I'm a big Hot Cheetos fan, okay? I am concerned how blue they are. That's good, I like that. There's rich flavor. I like the corn tortilla taste and a subtle heat. Making great progress, we're on to the letter H. The letter H, guys, that is C-H. Any guesses yet? The first of three will try wild protein chips. 13 grams of protein per bag. Chicken and waffle flavor. Now, y'all, these were expensive online as well. Ooh, kind of chalky looking. Wait, hold on. There's actually chicken breast, egg whites, and chicken bone broth in this. What's up with meat and chips? I liked the first taste that I had because it kind of tasted like syrup. And then again, I tasted a little bit too much chicken flavoring. The next one we'll try is Riley's Originals Chicken Waffles Chips with Organic Turmeric. Oh wow, that smells potent. Looks like a, almost looks like a, a disc. Why is it so hard? <coughs> Wait, hold on. Bruh, bruh, four dogs, bro. <laughs> Amazon, this is your fault. I was recommended this product as I was looking for human chips, okay? I may have not liked it, but this little guy loved it. And to be fair, that print was very small. It looks like he liked it more than I did. Subscribe and comment down below if you want to see more of Cedric. The last one we'll try for this letter, Nordic Snack Dried Cod Chips. It says it comes from fishermen on the coast of Iceland. Guys, I was looking up pictures of Iceland to show you where the fish chips came from, and is it just me or does this place look beautiful? Like, I don't know if this is a real place or a fake picture, that's how cool it looks. Maybe I'll do a fishing vlog in Iceland. Anyway, back to the video. That does taste very healthy and high quality. Moving on to the letter I. In case y'all were wondering, I don't always make it on the first shot. Y'all, that's C-H-I. Are you getting the word yet? The first of three will try Chinese Cheetos. I, I would read this for you, but I can't read Chinese. But I am assuming, you know, context clues, this is some sort of steak or burger flavor, and this is some sort of chicken drumstick. This is steak or burger. I don't like the taste of meat and chips together. Uh, Cheetos, Cheetos drumstick, it looks exactly the same. Almost like a sour taste in my mouth. I hope these aren't expired. I can't read Mandarin. We're going foreign again with this one. Prawn flavored chips. Heat vegetable oil in a frying pan to the boiling point and then deep fry a few seconds until puffed evenly. Now, I didn't all of a sudden learn how to read Mandarin, but there is some English directions here. Y'all, when I ordered this, I'll be honest, I had no idea I actually had to cook it, so this was fun. What, what the? Like, what are these? I don't know what I ordered. Half the time on Amazon for these videos, I literally don't know what I'm ordering. All right, y'all, this is smoking pretty good, so we're gonna throw some prawns in. I gotta be careful, too. Oil is dangerous. I'm scared to throw this in. Oh, wow. Oh, my! What the? What the heck, guys? Ah! Look at that, folks. 
I didn't know they were going to expand like that, so that was fun to see, but in the heat of the moment, I must have forgot I was only supposed to leave them on for three seconds. This time I did it the correct way. As you can see, it's a nice size looking chip and it actually smells pretty good. Not gonna lie, I didn't taste much. It tasted more like vegetable oil than anything. Last one we'll try for this letter, Cheetos Mexican Street Corn. It does pass the smell and look test. I'm just happy this isn't a meat flavor. Wow, wow! It's kinda like a smoky and buttery flavor. Behold, the next letter is S. The letter S, that's C-H-I-S. Guys, it's not chip. Online, I ordered this exotic Asian Lay's pack, so let's give it a try. That doesn't look like Mandarin though, so I don't know what language this is, but I can tell this is some sort of sushi flavor. How do you make a chip sushi flavor? I guess it's like, how do you make a chip burger or chicken flavor? You, I don't know, doesn't really make sense. It looks like sour cream and onion. I get a little bit of a seaweed taste and also kind of bitter. Up next, some sort of red sauce with cheese. Ew. A little bit of a chili taste. Last one we'll try for this letter, hot chili squid. I see it says it in English on this one. I've never tried squid before. Well, actually, what's the one, what's the one appetizer? Um, you know, it's that Cheesecake Factory, that very Chinese restaurant. Um, calamari, I, is, that, is that squid? That's octopus. What's the difference? I don't know, but I need to try this chip. It looks normal, sure. I'm sorry, y'all. That tasted so bad, I needed to refresh my taste buds. Oh, hey there. This is definitely an American snack. On to the letter E. We're almost ready to start mixing. C-H-I-S-E. Guys, do you know it yet? Starting with Lavar crisps. It's all in Korean language on the back and there's no picture. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, I just looked it up and turns out it's literally just seaweed cooked in rice oil. Woo, everyone, welcome Grace. Give a round of applause. Aww. How you feel to be on today's episode? <laughs> Great, another day. These, I don't really know what the taste is, so you're gonna be our guest taster. I'm allergic to nuts, remember? Well. Can you read Korean and see if there's any nuts in here? No. It does taste fishy and <laughs> salty. The second of three, we're trying honey butter chip. It says made with French butter. Oh. I like honey butter chicken biscuits. That's Whataburger. Wanna go there later? Yeah. What does it taste like? <laughs> it's sweet, but like a kind of a, a bitter sweetness, right? A chip coated in the flavor, but the actual chip doesn't taste like it, just the flavoring does. You don't like shrimp? The last letter is L, and we're only trying one unique flavor, so that way we can start mixing. The letter L, that means the word is chisel. Y'all, I know that might seem random, but I like the word chisel, it's a, it's a good word. And guys, there's been subliminal messaging throughout this entire video. Don't believe me? Rewatch every trick shot that I did in between letters and you'll see this chisel was somewhere in the frame. Yeah, I don't know why. I thought it'd be funny if the answer was there the whole time. I dare you to find all the chisels. This is a large letter. I even have some behind me, but we're only trying the H-E-B pizza rolls. Wow, I'm getting a zesty pizza flavor. Do you know what these would go good with? Pizza rolls. Let's put the pizza roll on the pizza roll chip. Oh, that's good. As y'all can see, all the chips have been put into the blender, so now it's time to crush them all together. Wait a second. I think I might be forgetting one. I almost forgot the world's hottest chip. I'm kind of sad I remembered, if I'm being honest. Jump scare! A jump scare! And Cedric's gonna try it too. 
Just kidding, he's sticking to chicken and waffle biscuits, guys. Don't get all upset at me. Red Hot Reaper Chip Challenge, made from the hottest peppers in the world, Carolina Reaper and Trinidad Scorpion. Ooh, that looks like it's cake. No, dude. Get him down, <laughs> dangerous room. We're gonna stay at a distance. This is a thick chip, so we have to measure 0 0.07. Oh good, it's way heavier, perfect. Just real quick, I wanted to share a review. Here's a video review from Evil Ways 775 He said it's hot, and the video is him um, just pouring water in his mouth for 30 seconds straight. Monarchy Bogus, is that a real name? Monarchy Bogus said, only death. Buy this chip, eat this chip at your own risk because it's hell in an edible version. Kayana said, whoa, hot. This was fire. If you're looking to eat a pinch, make sure you wear gloves and a whole gallon of milk. Eyes, mouths, ears, all was on 10 for 30 minutes. What does that mean? Honey, I love you. You got it. Oh no, this is bad. Oh no, he's crying, Cedric. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> Guys, whenever I do this, I just feel so helpless. The pain doesn't go away till at least 30 minutes and the milk seems to barely help. Give him a kiss. My nose, eyes and ears are still on 10 though. Sorry for being dramatic, but that was horrible and I'm glad it's time to mix. Dude, that's awesome. Oh my. The richness of this smell, guys, all the flavors. The smell was amazing. Now time to see if we can really get it back into chip form. In case the water needs some help, I'm adding some tasteless food glue. And now that I pressed the crumbs down into the cup, it was time to extract the mixture. The consistency looks great, just what we were aiming for. Now time to shape them to look more like chips. After some research, I decided to go 400 degrees and 15 minutes in the air fryer. Can I just say I am honored for the privilege to put in the world's first chip with every chip in it. It's ready. Guys, I hope this works. Bruh, why does this look like little burgers though? Oh, come on, fit in there. Oh, they're big waffle chips, okay? There's still one minute left, but we're gonna stop it and see how it looks. Whoa. But the important question is, will it stick together as I try to pick it up? Let's go, guys. Let's go. The ultimate chip. And it's not burnt either. In my opinion, that's the perfect amount of crispness. To bring these chips to my friends and have them taste test it, I had to make my own packaging. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments. And I thought of a big brain idea to prevent them from breaking while I deliver them to my friends. I'm gonna put them in this Tupperware and then put it in the chip bag. It was time to leave to see the taste testers, and although Cedric wanted to come with, I had to make this journey on my own. Well, my wife also came. She's my camera woman. Line it up, line it up. Are you guys Woo. ready for this? Woo. We're ready. ready, man. Before we try the chip, we're doing a mini game for some money. This mini game is super quick and funny. The first one to eat the chip off their face wins. You put here chip on the forehead, when I say go, you gotta eat it. So, 
I never really tried this, but here we go. Go. That's pretty good. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, oh, and if that happens, you have to make sure you reset it back in the forehead, not the nose or the cheek, okay? So. You get the point, okay? On your foreheads. <laughs> get set. Go. Oh, 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 oh. oh. interesting oh, strats. Oh, man. No. They're going for the jump. I need another one. Uh, Grant's going for the jump. Matt's going for the slow wiggle. Thomas, Thomas is oh. twitching it. He's... Wait, did you count? Oh. Try to do the hop. Oh, oh, oh. Grant's talking out of the dub. Let's go. Oh. Uh, I never win these things. Everybody's a winner. <laughs> That was actually kind of cool. If you've watched my past videos, you'll know my guy Grant always seems to win those mini games. But now, the moment we've all been waiting for, time to finally try this chip. <laughs> why does it look? Why does, why it, does look it look like it's radiated? 177 different chips, not FDA approved. 0 0.01 grams of Reaper pepper. That Reaper pepper. It's only point. Sounds intense. It's only 0 0.01 grams. <laughs> Yeah, take as big of a bite as you want. Can I get more money if I do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. Cheers. Yeah. Interesting. Kind of got a crouton. I get a little barbecue vibes and then some pepper in there. A little bit of a heat kick. Yeah. But really, it's like so many flavors into one. It's low key hard to distinguish one specific flavor. But I can taste the Reaper. It's it's indescribable. Kind of it's, it's kind of chippy. Indescribable. Kind of like That's chippy. That's good. <laughs> it was definitely hard to explain. I'd say mostly barbecue and hot. Please check out another video. Till next time, Lord willing, grace, love, peace, and mercy.